All right, so to set up the band inversion, I'm just taking, for me, I weigh 235 pounds. I'm taking three of these blue bands. If you're uh, probably under 200 pounds, you'd be fine with two. For the pull-up bars that we have here, we have the two neutral grip bars, so I just hang them over the bows. If you don't have a neutral grip bar, you can just loop it and swoop it over a traditional chin-up bar. Uh, from there, I just try to get them to be nice and clean and flush over one another. Um, kind of make some adjustments once you're up there. I set the J-hooks up to like a hang clean deadlift type height just for a step to get into it. Not necessary, but it just makes it a little bit easier. So I utilize those to step up. Then I get in sort of like a swing, but I come in from this way and bring my arms through. Again, try to fix the bands up so they're not all tangled. That would be perfect, but I'm really trying to get them as flush with my skin as I can. From there, the way my squat rack works, I have like uh, poles right here that I throw my feet up to. Again, not necessary. It makes it easier if you have those. And then I adjust the band to be at the very low part of my back. Uh, my hips and butt will basically keep me in the band. From there, I grab on, fall back, wrap my leg around, and then I hang. From here, I just try to stay relaxed as possible. Let my hangs dangle. Uh, you can kind of get a little bit of movement around. You can release the leg, drop it down, uh, scour around just like with any mobility type thing. Let your legs come here. Whatever you want to do. The majority of the time, I'll just hang out into this position. When you are done, you're basically just going to do a sit up, release your legs, sit up forward and eject. Usually hanging from anywhere from two to five minutes, depending on how long I can basically handle the blood rushing into my face. Thanks.